Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we got a system of equations 7 power a equals to 8, 8 power b equals to 9, 9 power c equals to 10, and 10 power d equals to 11. And now we are going to find the value of a times b times c times d. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. In this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. And here's our very first approach. Let's go ahead and label these equations. Let me label this first exponential equation as equation number one. Let's call this second equation as number two. This third one as number three. And finally, this one as number four and here's our very first step let's go ahead and take a log on both sides of this equation one and here i have copied down this equation one let's go ahead and take a log on both sides i'm going to take a log on this side and log on this side as well and now let's go ahead and apply this uh, power rule according to this rule this exponent we can uh, bring it uh, to the front uh, over here so therefore we can write this one as a times log of 7 equals to log of 8 let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 5 and here's our next step let's focus on this equation 2 now and here i have copied it down let's go ahead and take the log on both side of this equation I'm going to put a log on left hand side and log on the right hand side as well and now once again we can bring this exponent b all the way to the front so therefore our equation is going to become b times log of 8 equals to log of 9 and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number six and now let's focus on this equation three and here i have copied it down let's go ahead and take a log on both sides so let's take log on right hand side as well and now we can see that we have exponent c we can drag it all the way to the front so our equation could be written as c times log of 9 equals to log of 10. Let's go ahead and call this as equation number 7 now. And now let's focus on this equation 4. And here I have copied down equation 4. Let's go ahead and take a log on both sides. We can take a log on this side and this side as well and now we can see this exponent d we can bring it all the way to the front so therefore this equation could be written as d times log of 10 equals to log of 11 let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 8 and here's our next step let's go ahead and focus on this equation 5 we want to isolate this a let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 7 and log of 7 on this side as well and here we can see that these cancel each other out so we ended up with this simply a equals to log of 8 divided by log of 7. Now let's focus on this equation 6. We want to isolate this uh, b. So let's go ahead and divide both sides of this one by log of 8 and log of 8 on this side as well. And here we can see that they cancel each other out. So we ended up with b equals to log of 9 divided by log of 8 and likewise we divided this equation 7 by both sides by log of 9 and we got c equals to log of 10 divided by log of 9 and finally we divided on this equation 8 by 
log of 10 on both sides and we got d equals to log of 11 divided by log of 10. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of uh, a times b times c times d. And we know our a equals to this, b equal to this, c equal to this, and finally d equal to this value. Therefore, we multiplied out these a times b times c and then times d. And on the right hand side, I multiplied out their corresponding values as you can see. And now we can see on the right hand side this log of 8 cancels out with this log of 8, log of 9 cancels out with this log of 9, and log of 10 cancels out with this log of 10. So our equation is going to become a times b times c times d equals to log of 11 divided by log of 7. And now if we use calculators we know that the log of 11 is going to be 1.0414 approximately and likewise log of 7 is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.8451 so therefore our value a times b times c times d turns out to be approximately equal to 1.2323 so thus our answer turns out to be approximately equal to 1.2323 and now let me share with you the second method and now let's focus on this equation 4 and here I have copied down equation 4 as you can see and let's focus on this base 10 and we know from equation 3 base 10 equals to 9 power c so therefore I am going to replace this 10 by 9 power c so our equation could be written as then 9 power c and then whole power d equals to 11 and now let's go ahead and apply this uh, power rule of exponents so our this equation could be written as uh, 9 power these uh, nested exponent we can uh, multiply them out this become c times d equals to 11 and now let's focus on this uh, base 9 and we know from equation 2 9 could be written equal to 8 power b so therefore let's go ahead and replace this 9 by 8 power b so therefore our this equation is going to become 8 power b and then whole power c times d equals to 11 now let's go ahead and apply this power rule of exponents so this could be written as 8 power we're going to multiply these exponents that's going to become b times c times d equals to 11 and now let's focus on this base 8 and we can see from this equation 1 8 is equal to 7 power a so therefore I'm going to replace this 8 by 7 power a so therefore this equation is going to become 7 power a then whole power b c d equals to 11 and now let's go ahead and apply the rules of exponent on this equation 1 so this could be written as 7 power a times b times c times d equals to 11 and now let's go ahead and take the log on both sides of this equation i'm going to take log on this side and log on this side as well and now let's go ahead and use the power rule so we can uh, bring this uh, exponent a times b times c times d all the way to the front so therefore we can write a times b times c times d log of 7 equals to log of 11 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 7 and log of 7 on this side as well. This cancels out so we ended up with simply a times b times c times d equals to log of 11 divided by log of 7. Now if we use a calculator we know that log of 11 is approximately equal to 
1.0414 and likewise log of 7 is approximately equal to 0.8451 and here we have plugged in in these values and our a times b times c times d turns out to be approximately equal to 1.2323 so thus our a times b times c times d value approximately turns out to be 1.2323 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye